This is the RouletteBot Pro version 2 overview video for the Systems tab. Here you have your three bedding systems, sleepers, reverse sleepers, super singles. This area here is your bedding category window. This area here is your progression table. This area here is where you save your manual progressions choose between computerized or manual progressions, configure for a bankroll of, and click here to enable this system. Let's start with the sleepers bedding system. This is a system that will wait X times for a category to miss, then place a bet on that category. So under the category section, simply check off the categories that you want to use and enter in a number, for example columns, I have 10 entered. That means when any of the columns have missed 10 times in a row, it will start placing a bet. Now for dozens, I have the random feature enabled. And what that means in this case, the dozens will wait a minimum of 10 times and a maximum of 14 times before starting to bet and it will do it on a random type basis. So it might do it on the 11th time, on the 14th time, the next time on the 12th time. It just adds a random element to your betting. Okay, let's look at the progression table. All of these progressions will always default using the Martingale betting system. To look at the different progressions for each category, just use the pull down menu and select the category you wish to look at. We have sequence, which is the bet number, so your first bet, second bet, third bet. Units is the number of units going to be placed on that bet number. Profit is the profit you will make, and bankroll is the bankroll required to get to that betting sequence. So on the third sequence, which is your third bet, you're going to place two units, for a profit of two dollars and the bankroll required to get to the third bet is four. If we scroll down here to the eighth sequence or eighth bet we'll be betting 14 units for a profit of two dollars and we need a bankroll of forty dollars to reach that progression. Now it will only go up to the twelfth betting sequence because after that you have maxed out the table limit for this particular casino. So if I change this to $100 instead of $1,000, then it only goes to the tenth sequence because I've used all my bankroll. Okay, these numbers, profit and bankroll, are determined by your betting unit. So you have $1, $2, $2, $1, $1, $2, $4, $7, $11, $17, $18, $19, $20, $21, $22, $23, $24, $25, $26, $27, $28, $29, $30, $31, $32, $33, $34, $35, $36, $37, $38, $39, $40,
and now let's go to lines. Lines is still at 100. Let's go back to columns. It is at 25 and when I go back to dozens it should be at 50. So if you want to configure them all for the same bankroll, enter in the amount, hit enter, check this box off here, configure all categories, and select go. Now all of the categories will have a bankroll progression of $75. And I'll show you just a couple here. And the default progression type uses the Martingale system. Keep in mind when configuring bankrolls for individual categories, make sure this box is not checked. Then you can program in a different bankroll for individual categories. It's also a good idea to have this number here configure for a bankroll of the same as or lower than your actual balance on the main tab. If it goes higher than your actual balance, the progressions will go higher than what your actual balance can accommodate. Okay, let's get to the part where you configure your own progressions. You would take this number, configure for a bankroll of, and enter zero. And now click on the units the profit and bankroll you can click on but you can't enter anything in so just click on units. Enter in the amount of betting units you wish to use for that betting sequence and hit enter. Then use your down arrow key to add a new betting sequence line and enter in the amount of units you wish to use for that betting sequence and do that as many times as you wish. Note the bankroll required on the last line, on the last betting sequence, should be the same as or lower than the balance on the main tab, so your progressions do not go farther than what your balance will allow. And just like the computerized progressions, once you are in a profit situation, it will not continue on any further into your progression sequence. To delete any of the progressions, you have to start at the bottom sequence, highlight it, backspace, and then use the up arrow key. Once you have started, you can just keep hitting the backspace and the up arrow key. Now a quick example of the manual progressions. Someone might want to do one, one, and then go 12. Now these progressions are only for dozens, which is the category we're working on. If I go to a different category, it still has the settings from before. If you want to save your manual progressions, you just put the cursor in there, type in a name, and click Save. If you wanted to add another progression and give it another name, you would just type in the name, click Save, and there it is. When you click on the progression profile, it will populate up above but will not load unless you double click it or highlight and click Load. And you can also delete those progression profiles by just clicking the delete. That concludes part one of the systems tab overview. Please watch video two for the systems tab overview as it has very important information you will need to know on how to program the bot.